guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are now going to talk about uh, steel brace frames. Okay, so after learning how to uh, create some reinforcing, like creating our rebar, so let us now move on to our topic about steel brace frame. Okay, so now the first topic that we are going to talk about is I'm going to teach you how to create a brace frame. So, but before that, so let us learn first how to create a brace frame elevation. So basically, it's just an elevation. So where we are going to create our brace frame. All right, so let's do this. So on our model, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open my uh, level 2 here. Okay, so my level 2. And then let's say, for example, uh, this is where I'm, I want to create my brace frame, this area here. And then after that, I'm going to mirror that to the other side there, okay? Now, for me to be able to create a brace frame, so I need to create first a brace elevation. So how to do that? So from the view tab, okay? So since we want to create an elevation, so you click the drop-down arrow of the elevation. And then after that, you select framing elevation. So it creates a framing elevation to show vertical bracing all right so i'm going to select this and then as you can see here on our status bar it says click on a grid or named reference plane to place the elevation okay so in our case we will be using or we will be clicking a grid okay so in our case it's on the grid f so as you can see as i hover my pointer to grid f it shows me the elevation so if I'm going to hover my pointer here to this grid, it shows me the elevation. Okay, so basically, Revit will place the work plane on that uh, grid F. Okay, so I'm going to click this to place the elevation. There you go. And then after that, I select your modify. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is from the project browser, let me look at the framing elevation that I just created. So there you go. So I'm just going to expand this. I'll just change the name of this, okay? So instead of elevation 1-A, so I'll just rename this. So I'll just put here uh, uh, brace frame elevation, okay? Enter. There you go. So that's the name. Well, I think it's quite big. So I don't want half. I don't want all caps. <laughs> so brace frame elevation. Okay, enter. There you go. Okay, and then let's open that one. So let's double click to open it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, um, let's say, for example, I want to create the frame here, the brace on my uh, level 3, uh, between level 2 and level 3. So what I'm going to do is, um, let me change the detail level here. So I click that. Instead of course, I'm going to make it fine so I can see the details of my structural model there you go see and then you can also change the visual style let's say to shaded view that one and then let's select the boundary here so i only want to do it on between let's say two and three that's the one and then let's uh, adjust the levels tidy up there you go okay so I want to create here okay so now to after creating your uh, brace frame elevation the next thing that we're going to do let us now start adding a brace frame so it's simple so from the structure tab you will see from the structure panel here the brace okay so you just need to uh, click the brace and then from the properties, you can now select from here the type of structural framing that you want. So let's say, for example, I'll be using um, uh, this one, HSS 8 by 8 by 3 8. Okay, so I select that. There you go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap at the end point of this uh frame that we have here you see that color green line that's the analytical uh line so i'm going to click that end point so let's say i want here well let's say i'll start 
here. Okay, so I'll do, I'll do it here. So the end point of that analytical beam, and then I'm going to snap there at the midpoint of that analytical beam. All right. So basically, that's the cat back. But if you're going to click this, as you can see, it extends to the analytical endpoint here of your beam. But there's the uh, cut back. So same here. Okay. So let's do it. So let's do that again. So I'm going to select the brace here. There you go. And then again, I'm going to pick. Look at the midpoint. Okay. And then after that, so let's click here the end point. All right. There you go. All right. Okay. So there's again there's the cat back. Okay, I think uh, I must have picked the wrong location. So I'll click this again. So I delete this. Uh, brace. So I click from there. And then I click here. Uh, why is it doesn't look like so brace snap that point. So there's the snap back cut back so I'll just adjust it one and then let's say I'm just going to create another one here vertically so I'm going to select the brace Let's snap at the let's say at the midpoint and then let's snap at the midpoint. There you go. Okay, so I just wonder why is it there and not uh, the same at the other side. So let me try again. So I delete this couple of brace. I select the brace here. So let me click that endpoint and then I'll snap at the midpoint there. Okay, and then I'll try here. And I'll try here. S E, yeah. So S E for the snap endpoint. So click. There you have it. Okay. So probably I'll just snap at the wrong allocation here. So for you to be able to correctly snap, so you just type S E for the snap endpoint. So let me show you again. So I'm going to select both. I'm going to delete. Okay, so let's select the brace. Now, make sure you can see that color green line there. So if, if you can see and then snap, so you just need to click that, okay? And then you snap at the midpoint here. Now, for this other side here, I'm going to escape once, okay? And then, there you go. As you can see, it disappears. The green line disappears. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to over my pointer somewhere here and then I'm going to type SE so it will snap to the end point of that analytical line so once you see it, it snaps so you click that and then after that you may now click the midpoint here and there you go okay so that's the example of the 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 brace so that's how you create the brace okay now the next thing that what I'm gonna do is going back to the 3d view all right, so let us mirror this to the other side. Okay, so let's mirror this. So from the, I think it would be better if I select this three first. I'm going to click that, hold control, and then click the other two brace here. And then let's go to the level two. There you go. So while the three uh, framings are selected, so I'm going to select a mirror draw axis. And then after that, let's mirror that to the other side. So this will going to be my midpoint here. So I click here, one, and then I click another point here, two. There you go. Modify. Let's check out the 3D view. Let's check out the other side. And boom. All right. So it's not that difficult. So basically, that's how you create your... Uh, uh, brace frame okay so hopefully you learned something from this video how to create your brace frame elevation and then your uh, brace frame okay so hopefully you learned something from this one if you have any comments questions or suggestions 
you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So once again, thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.